welcome back to cursed mining and today we are building another aliexpress frame since the last time we did this there seems to have come up a lot of variation on the side with a lot of acrylic models besides the aluminium ones we had this is how the one we got here today looks from the official offer let's see you get a brush for whatever reason tools and all the screws there are not many parts at all let's get into it right from the start yeah i'm an idiot <laughs> there are two layers of plastic and i did not see the second one i removed the first one some tape and i already started building with the feet and the power button but there is more plastic to get rid of in terms of io you get two usb slots audio and microphone jacks as well as power and reset button bare basics but enough next up is already the vertical plate and after that you have to think of how many hdd or ssds you want you could even mount a cd or a dvd drive <laughs> those hang from the bottom plate so you install the acrylic plates for those next before the motherboard i will just use a small ssd you just slap that right on the plate according to the manual next would be the motherboard standoffs and board itself but i first wanted to lay the psu out and check what i was working with and if i wanted to hide any cable so psu first Honestly, a fully modular one would be the most beautiful for a build like this, but I have plans for all the ones I have left here. So I went simple with an old be quiet 550 watt I still had. There's no need for extensive amounts of power with this as I will not build it out into a full rig for now. The PSU gets mounted in a way that the power plug goes below the frame and the cables stick up. That's a bit funny at first, but it's fine. I'm trying to see where I need SATA and IO later. Then we are already at the motherboard itself. It's nothing fancy today, just an old H81 rig motherboard with a G1840 Celeron I recently freed up. That's more than enough for a quick test bench. I also took the chance to test some AliExpress RAM here from the brand Killsire. Killsir? And I guess the cooler is the most unique thing about the whole build. That thing is called the Igo Talon. Let me know if you want to see a video dedicated to freaky coolers again. Next I try to cable it up as tidy as possible. Of course this is an open case so not many places to hide. You can go down and up the backplate on different parts of the board. Just for finishing the build I took one of my 4GB cards and you could still add some fans if this was a beefier build to exhaust more from the PSU and CPU cooler and this is also where you could mount an AIO as well. Definitely no need with this one today though. That was a quick build, the minimal IO and buttons included are more than enough and it's easy to quickly test cards with this. So what do I think of this thing? We did a video on AliExpress frames before, in which we looked at two aluminium ones. One was vertical, which I still use to this day, another one laying down, so I have a bit of comparison. The acrylic one today is more straightforward, there is just one way of putting it together and then the freedom lies in what you build on it. The older aluminium ones are more annoying to assemble in the first place, but for that you get to add remove whatever you like since the frame makes it easy and is more universal. For example I ditched the original frame for fans which was included, it was just annoying but I could easily screw fans onto the frame directly and it works great. Back to the acrylic. For the price of around 55 euro it depends. Pure value wise I think the aluminium vertical one we had is the better frame as it costs around the same. But it also needs more work to be exactly the way you want it. Other than that yeah I like it, I don't regret either of them. They are super simple to set up and for me who always switches and moves stuff around this makes life a bit easier. The exact model exists for my CreateX and smaller as well. This today was the biggest version of that one. Also there is another test bench slash PC I still owe you a video about too which you've already been seeing here and there. It turned more into a full mining note than actual test rig. Let me know what you think and if you try different cases and frames from AliExpress. For now I have to say my experiences have not been bad at all. If there is a specific model you would like me to check out, write me about it in the comments. I'd go for another experiment like that. Oh and there will be yet another rig frame video coming. Here a big big shout out to Guntis and Mineshop.eu. They sent me a 12 GPU mining rig frame and this thing is amazing. But I did not get to make the video about it yet because the build in that thing is changing every few days at the moment. Cheers man and thanks, we'll be out soon. Other than that there is a feature about some of 
of the 3D printed parts you saw on the channel in the making as well. So lots of stuff coming up and that's just one category. Oh, lastly, I know what the freaking brush is for. The acrylic material of the blade is a dust magnet. So filming wise, yeah, it is what it is. I hope all of you are doing well, no matter where you are. Please subscribe for weekly crypto and tech content. Happy mining and bye.